Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, please share this video, support your boy, support good content at all times, all social media is in the description box, and please hit that bell icon so you can be notified when I drop that heat, this video was sponsored by my boy Fast Classic, his mixtape is in the description box, it is absolutely free, definitely give him a download, give him a listen, and this video was sponsored by my boy Matt. Definitely check his apparel out on IG at We All From W E A L L F R O M. This is just a disclaimer. My boy Fast Classic, my boy Matt. You're not gonna see any affiliate links or anything like that. These these is my brothers. It's my family, and they both got situations and they both trying to get their product out there and really just grinding. So. I'm pretty sure in the future as a channel, I'm going to have affiliate links and Patreons and all that other stuff. But before all of that, I'm going to always look out for the fam first. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times we'll support somebody that we won't know before we support the family. Over here on G5 Jeff TV, we definitely support the family and the family is Fast Classic and my boy Matt. So definitely big shout out to them too. But let's get down to business. Terrence Bud Crawford, Amir Khan, April 20th, 2019, Madison Square Garden, New York City. Looks like it's going down. And if it does go down, this is this is a dangerous fight for Terrence Crawford for a couple of reasons. Okay. And I, I gotta be careful because I don't want to make this seem like a one of my classic breakdown and prediction videos. But I do want to point out why. This is a dangerous fight for Terrence Crawford. Number one, Amir Khan will be the biggest name on Terrence Crawford's resume. That's number one. Number two, Amir Khan will be the most talented opponent on Terrence Crawford's resume. That's number two. Number three, Amir Khan will be the most accomplished fighter on Terrence Crawford's resume so those three facts right there are reasons why this is a dangerous fight for Terrence Crawford now getting to the actual physical attributes Amir Khan is the fastest opponent that Terrence Crawford with a face in his career. Number two, Amir Khan does very well with southpaws. He does well with southpaws. And Terrence Crawford likes to switch to southpaw. But this might be a situation, this might be a fight where Terrence Crawford might be better off being in the orthodox position. But if you think about it, I look at Terrence Crawford as like a southpaw fighter that can fight orthodox I don't look at it the other way around because very rarely does he fights in a conventional stance he'll start off with it in the first round for about the first minute and then he's switching to southpaw for the rest of the fight that's if you a big Terrence Crawford fan or just a big boxing fan and notice stuff like that another thing with Amir Khan it's very hard to win rounds against Amir Khan very hard I think he's one of the best in history boxing history at winning rounds because we all make fun of Amir Khan and crack jokes on Amir Khan and say you hit him you know it's gonna be chin glass all over the place you understand what I'm saying but the bottom line is if you don't knock Amir Khan out more than likely, you're probably losing a round <laughs> against Amir Khan. With that hand speed and that combination punching, it is a problem going up against Amir Khan. There's a reason why Floyd Mayweather didn't get into the ring with Amir Khan. It's hard to win rounds against Amir Khan. Now, could Floyd, Floyd Mayweather knocked out Amir Khan? Absolutely. But Floyd Mayweather is known for winning rounds. 
which allows him to do his thing. There's a reason why Manny Pacquiao didn't get into the ring with Amir Khan. Too big of a risk. But we all know that Amir Khan has the talent, has the skill set. And from what I'm hearing, Virgil Hunter is going to be back in his corner. So that's another danger for Terrence Crawford. So you know if he's going in with Virgil Hunter, you know he's going to come in well prepared. And he's going to be thinking a lot more than what he usually does in the ring. Even when Amir Khan fought Canelo Alvarez, Amir Khan was winning that fight. I don't care. I don't give a fuck what the judges were saying. Amir Khan was winning that fight. But we all know about Canelo Alvarez and judges. I'm not going to get I'm not going to get into that. I just wanted to bring that up as an example. When I actually break down a lot of the physical attributes of Amir Khan, in a sense, it's almost like he's a bigger version of an old opponent of Terrence Bud Crawford, and that's your York is Gamboa. But see, the problem with your York is Gamboa is the same problem that Amir Khan has. Chin problems. And the one thing that Terrence Crawford has is timing. Great timing. I think the two guys that had the best timing in the game is Terrence Crawford and Danny Garcia. Their timing is impeccable. Number two, Terrence Crawford is still relatively new at 147, and American has been fighting at 147 for a very long time. Now, I mentioned all of these positive things about American, and you would think with me mentioning all these positive things that I would think American is going to be the favorite in this fight or this is going to be a 50-50 fight. Listen, the reason why Terrence Crawford is one of the best in the world, one of the best pound-for-pound pound fighters in the world is because he figures his opponent out and he gets things done. The reason why I said there's dangers in this fight for Terrence Crawford is because Amir Khan brings those dangers. His one weakness is his chin. So no matter what fight Amir Khan is in, the story remains the same. It's either you're going to get blown out on the scorecards or Amir Khan has to get knocked down, knocked out, or stopped. If it's going 12, there's a pretty good chance Amir Khan is probably giving you an ass whipping on the, on the scorecards. So Terrence Crawford, he's in a no-win situation. If he knocks out Amir Khan, they're going to say you were supposed to knock out Amir Khan. If he goes 12 with Amir Khan and doesn't knock him out, they're going to say he don't have no power. If it's a close fight, they're going to say Terrence Crawford is not pound for pound. Regardless of what Terrence Crawford does, he's in a no-win situation. All Terrence Crawford can do is go in, win, and try to whip Amir Khan's ass. But there are some definite dangers for Terrence Crawford in this fight. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.